My name is Adil, I'm 20 years old. After what happened in the country, uh, my mom, she came and she told me um, that uh, there is four guys, they were arrested in uh, an apartment in Nasr City. Uh, that was almost um, a month ago. And she told me um, what happened is really not good, so you have to think again about your sexual orientation. We can go to a doctor. Uh, I'm gonna help with every way possible. I told her, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna change. She told me, alright, so if you were arrested, just don't give me a call, don't mention me by any means. I told her, okay. So I left my home. For now, I have my own support group. I have my own alternative family. Uh, those kind of people that they are, no matter their sexual orientation, they love me. They accept me. We all started accepting ourselves because we decided to think for ourselves. To think for yourself is something that, you, that you're taught at school, that you're taught at home. If the educational system is you're not taught to think for yourself. You're given values that you're supposed to go by and live by and follow. So we're actually taught homophobia in schools. And we all must have gone through this. We, it took us a very, very long time to accept ourselves. Because we are taught, we are a society of hate. And it's very destructive. It's very destructive. It, it makes you feel very, very sad to see 30-year-old men who are not okay with themselves. So once I was walking in the street after 2 a.m., and a police officer, he stopped me, he told me, what you are doing here now? I told him, I'm walking. He told me, all right, gave me your ID. I told him, all right. I gave him my ID. He told me, are you wearing an earring? I told him, no, I'm wearing the piercing. He told me, all right, so you have two options now, whether you can come to the police station, we're gonna you, we're gonna all you, and you're gonna be so happy, or I can alone. There you go, abuse of authority for personal gain. Again, it's just a cliche that keeps happening. We are run by fear, we have been run by fear for 60 years. You have to, you have to realize who's, who's watching you, who might be listening in on your phone, and people are listening on your phone. Yeah, for me, for example, I cannot like meet someone in the street and I can tell him about my sexual identity, and then we can go out, start dating, and then we're gonna be in a relationship. So no, that usually, doesn't exist here. yes. So usually we go with the um, uh, social media or the um, dating websites. So whenever you find someone on the dating websites or the dating applications, so you start saying, "Can you send me your picture?" Just to guarantee that he's a real person. And then after seeing his picture, you ask for more pictures to just to guarantee that he's the same person that you are talking to. I think that's a ridiculous way of meeting people. Um, it is, it is ridiculous to have several you. numbers. One number is for your uh, work life and your, and your straight friends. And one number is for your gay life. What the hell kind of life is this? Well, there are, there are a couple of, of gay friendly places in Cairo. We're not going to name them. But... But it's usually it's usually up to the waiter or the person who works exactly. there. Exactly. It's not about management. The management is never there. If the if the person is an okay person who is okay with all kinds of people, he has no problems. We go to some uh, some bars and, and clubs and cafes here that are absolutely okay. Places, I guess. It's, it's only, it's only a few places. Or... It's only a few places, but it's, it it works. We are lucky to have places like that. But other than that, we are limited to house parties and these house parties don't have to be too loud and these house parties have to be of a limited number of people because you don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves. Uh, I came out when I was 17 or something. The thing is, 
my mom she lost how she used to believe in me because of what happened because of the situation so now what happens they are playing the game of morality we are doing this for moral reasons we are proving that we are with religion we are yes we are against the muslim brotherhoods but we are with the religion so regardless what happening in the country the people who dies of cancer because they can not find the good cure and the good medicine and regardless regardless those who die uh, on the borders of the country and regardless those who dies outside of Egypt because they don't have any rights <laughs> we're gonna get the gays wow wow <laughs> so that's really depressing that's really make me feel like I hate this country. Yeah, it's it's the place that I was born. It's the place that uh, I have my friends, my family. But it's not the right place for me because I'm just gay. <laughs>